Yes, sir. You too. What's happening with it, man? It's your boy, Travi J. Back at you with another video. Yes, sir, man. Yesterday on release day Saturday, man, your boy went ahead and copped some shoes, man. Sleepers, if you ask me, man. Maybe the sleeper of 2023, and that is none other than the Air Jordan 7 Chambrays, man. Nobody wanted these shoes. Nobody was talking about them. There was no hype. No rumors, no buzz, no nothing. Nathan, if you will, you know what I'm saying? But your boy went ahead and picked them up, man. I went ahead and did it only because I had a gift card and I had to use my, what, $20 off coupon with JD Sports Finish Line. So I was like, you know what? Under retail pickup, why not? You know what I mean? I think it's a dope shoe overall. You know, a lot of times, you know, people, they just don't like sevens, you know, just for whatever reason, you know, but I do like sevens. Um, it's not one of my top five silhouettes, but I do like the Jordan 7 in general, and I think it's a dope colorway. Maybe too plain for some, you know, it's pretty much just an all black Jordan 7 um, with some, you know, Carolina blue hits on them, but I think it's a dope shoe after all. So we're going to take a look at these guys today, man. We haven't seen this shoe since 2006, and uh, let me see, back in 2006, my daughter was just born. And your boy was good and broke. So I wasn't buying no shoes. I wasn't checking for no shoes. So yeah, your boy had to go in and pick these up, man, and add them to the collection. And uh, I'm starting to see that, you know, they're starting to release some of these shoes from that time frame, from 2005 to 2007. All those, you know, retros that came out between that time are starting to be re-released. So we got uh, Olive Fives coming back next year. We've got Burgundy Fives dropping next month. So I'm here for it, man. I'm looking forward to some of these pickups because a lot of these shoes, I had never heard of up until now because like I said man back then I was so broke from buying diapers and buying formula your boy ain't had time or no money to buy no shoes you know what I'm saying but anyway man we're gonna dive straight in and talk about these guys man let y'all know what I think about them I'm gonna give my honest thoughts and opinions on these guys and I want y'all to do the same you know what I mean so if this is your first time pulling up checking out the channel man go ahead and tap that subscribe button smash that like button hit that notification bell so that way you're notified every single time I drop another video and also, if you're on Instagram, go and give your boy a follow over at Travi J Official. So if you want to see some dope fits and fly kicks, man, you'll find all that over there. Oh, and one more thing. By the way, this is a new channel. If you're a returning subscriber or if you're new here, please go ahead and make sure you subscribe because my old channel got deleted, so we started from scratch. So definitely make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button as well to make sure you locked in, man, and uh, we got to get these numbers back up. You know what I'm saying? But anyway... Let's go ahead and dive into these shoes, man, and let me get y'all my thoughts and opinions on them. Okay, so checking out the box, y'all. We have a all-black box right here with a red jump man in the middle of it. Now, usually your Jordan 6s or your Jordan 7s is going to come in a box like this that's got that flip, flip lid on it. But you do have your cement pattern along the sides, as y'all can see right here. And uh, opening up the box, you do have your standard regular white paper on the inside. Nothing crazy there. Um, looking on the inside, you do have a green quality control sticker on the side, and you do have a lot number on the lid right here as well, if y'all can see that. And moving right along to the shoe, man, we've got the Air Jordan 7 Retro. Colorway is going to be black, chambray, light graphite. Picked up a size 9. I do recommend going true to size in your Air Jordan 7s. And moving right along, man, let's go and get these guys out of the box, and let's see what we have here today right shoe right here and here we go yes sir air jordan 7 chambray's back again for the first time since 2006 almost 17 years in the making man here we go y'all check these guys out man drop your first thoughts and opinions down in the comment section let me know what we thinking about these man what we doing here what are we doing here today man um you know, me personally, like I said, I like them. They definitely remind me of the uh, Citrus Sevens. You know, as far as the materials go. Um, but you know, I can see why people would kind of want to wait on this. And if I had to give my personal opinion as to if you should wait or not, I definitely think you should wait because these are gonna sit. These are absolutely gonna sit. So I would definitely recommend waiting on these because um, you know people just don't really like Sevens like that, man. Um, 
like I said, me personally, I don't have a problem with sevens. Um, I really like the sleekness of a Jordan seven. Just, you know, coming from a Jordan six and how bulky a six is, and then just looking at how sleek a Jordan seven is, I do like that about it. So let's go and get into the details real quick, man. As y'all can see, man, your whole upper is pretty much covered in a nice black new buck. Very nice to the touch, man. Just really reminds me of the Citrus sevens, man. You know, pretty much the same material, you know, that they have on those. You've got your chambray right there as well, chambray blue on your mountain peaks down here at the side. Also, you got your hits of your graphite or that gray. Got a nice blue jump man right here at the top. Then moving around to the back of the shoe, you've got a gray pull tab on the back as well. You've got a triangle with your blue two, three in the middle, and you also have a black seven on there as well. A lot of people don't know that there's a seven on the back in that triangle. It's kind of, it kind of gets overlooked and I ain't gonna hold y'all. I didn't always know that was a seven either. So don't feel bad if you didn't know that, but there is a seven on the back of the shoe. Coming around to the medial side, you got the same thing. You know, you're all new buck on, in black. You got your blue and gray hits on the mountain peak. You got an all black midsole right here on the side. Bringing it back around to the front of the shoe. You know, check out the toe box, man, and the materials on these guys. Just see how nice and plush that new buck is. Moving up to the laces, as you can see, these come OG lace, which means they are not laced up already. So they're gonna come not laced up. So if yours come laced up, <laughs> you might wanna get your money back, man, because uh, they foo-foo, you know what I mean? But uh, yes, you got an all black nylon tongue on these. And then coming up to the top, of the tongue you've got air jordan in that blue as well and you've also got your tribal pattern going across the uh tongue as well now for your little history lesson no jordan 7 tribal pattern will ever be the same so if you look at my pair and somebody else's pair no two are going to be the same so uh, that tribal pattern is always going to be different on each shoe each shoe on a jordan 7 you know what i mean and then of course on the bottom of the shoe you've got your 90s theme tribal pattern as well you know you've got hits of blue white gray you know all around just dope pattern man you know what i'm saying and of course you've got your jump man at the heel in blue as well on the bottom but other than that y'all that is pretty much the shoe in its entirety um not a bad shoe whatsoever man not a must cop in my opinion unless you like jordan sevens and you know you're a collector like myself you know that likes those retros from the 2005 through 2007 era like those lifestyle shoes that's pretty much what they call these and uh this is a shoe that you know that i would like to have in the collection i think it's a dope colorway man you know that black and blue um i just think it hits nice together and they complement each other really nice man and i think it's just a nice all black shoe you know what i'm saying so um y'all comment below and let me know if y'all went after these on saturday um, let me know if this is something that you're going to cop later on down the line or if it's a no look pass for you Now I know the Jordan 1 UNC toes are coming out this week So a lot of people probably gonna save their bread for that and probably go back and grab these later if anything You know what I mean? This is just not at the top of people's priority list right now when it comes to sneakers So true trust me. I understand I truly understand if you're gonna wait on these because this is something that's gonna sit that's gonna go on sale You can get these way below retail you know what i'm saying because like i said if i'm being honest if i didn't have that gift card and and, and twenty dollars off i probably would have skipped out on these and waited myself um it's just you know it's just not a, a must have right now at the moment but since i did pick them up i did want to bring these to the channel but anyway that's pretty much all i got for y'all today on these um like i said not a bad shoe in my opinion eight out of ten you know if i had to grade it on a scale of one through ten and uh, you know, I think it's a dope shoe and I will be throwing these on feet expeditiously. You know what I'm saying? But uh, comment below and let me know if y'all wanna see an on feet of these. Um, you know, I don't see too many videos with on feet right now, so I do not mind doing an on feet video. So y'all comment below, let me know if y'all wanna see an on feet and I will be more than happy to slap these guys on feet and uh, you know, let y'all check them out and see how they look. But uh, that's pretty much all I got to say on these, man. I'm gonna go and get out of here and let you enjoy the rest of your day. I appreciate y'all for tuning in and checking out this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to check out my videos as well. Truly appreciate the support as always. We're still on the race to 1K. So make sure y'all sub up, hit that like button, man, and uh, we'll be there in no time. You know what I mean? But I'm gone, y'all. I appreciate y'all, man, and I'll catch y'all on the next video. But before I go, I just wanna let you know, you never get a second chance to make a first impression. So always put your best foot forward. And on that note, y'all stay blessed. 
Y'all stay fresh. And I'm going to see you on the next one. All right? In a minute.